Today we're going to be out in the field updating some locations for our sewer and water utilities. We're going to start by opening up Bluetooth here and connecting to our Trimble DA2. This is the device that we'll be using today to get uh, our accuracy for locations. We're going to open up our Trimble Mobile Manager application. We're going to go ahead and use one of our Catalyst on-demand hours to get sub-inch accuracy with our DA2. Starting a session, we're going to use one of the hours. We have a, currently a pool of hours that we pull from whenever we want high accuracy on our device. Now that we got that active, we're going to go ahead and open up Field Maps application. Field Maps is going to use Trimble Mobile Manager to talk to the DA2. We got our GPS details here. As you can see, we're going to wait a few minutes for our GPS accuracy to drop down, but it shouldn't take more than a few seconds here. All right, so we have our sewer map opened up here. We're going to check out some of our features here in this map. We can see this the start of this line here. We've already shot and collected this manhole. We have the location but where we are currently at, we do not have a receiver name. We don't have lat long or altitude. So we're going to go ahead and edit this point and then update the location, snapping it to our current location. As we average, we see that it comes out to 0.5 inch accuracy. And we're going to go ahead and snap a photo of this feature as well. Now, after we've collected it, we have the option to update our attributes. We're going to go ahead and add some information here, a location, surface type, cover shape, things like that. We're going to go ahead and add. Sometimes the submitting takes a little bit longer when we've attached a photo or two, but it shouldn't take too long. Now we're going to go ahead and double check that our location information is updated. We see now we have a receiver name. In our attributes and we see that our photo has saved correctly. Now we're going to go ahead and snap one of the vertices of our sewer gravity main here to the point that we just updated. So now that we know that our manhole lid is sub-inch accurate we're going to go ahead and snap our lines so that everything is as accurate as we can get it. We're going to use the Update Selected Point button to go ahead and snap it over here and then submit these changes. All right, now that we got our first one out of the way, we're going to go ahead and move on over here to our second point. Now that we're in position here, we're going to go ahead and select our new Point and we're going to go ahead and snap and start averaging our location again. As you can see, our GPS accuracy is still amazing. Take a photo of this one as well while we're out here. I'm going to go ahead and update our location, fill in our surface type, cover shape, everything that we want. And we always have the option to go back later and adjust or edit any of these attributes. Some of these attributes are going to be filled in as we do our inspections and actually open up the lids and get depth to pipes and everything like that. All right, now that we have that point saved, we're going to go ahead and adjust our sewer gravity mains again, snap this line to both of the points that we have now shot so that everything is up to date. All right, so we're gonna kind of zoom out here. You can kind of see some more of our sewer features here. This is the map that we're using, but we're gonna go ahead and switch over to our water map. While we're out here, we're going to go ahead and collect some water features as well. So 
So, so far we've just been adjusting existing features. In the bottom right here we have our Add Features button. We're going to go ahead and use this now because we have a valve here that is not currently in our map. So we're going to scroll down to the System Valve, select that out of our list, and then average our location. We're going to take a step back here and then take our photo of this feature. Scroll through, make sure that we don't need to add any attribute information of this feature currently. Then go ahead and save this new feature to our map. Now we're going to check out this fire hydrant here. Scrolling through, it looks like we already have a receiver name in there. This has already been shot with the DA2. The only thing I noticed here is that we don't have a photo attached. So I think we're just going to go ahead and add a photo to this before we are done for the day. Using the edit button, we're going to go ahead and take a photo and add this to our existing feature. All right, and we got that submitted. I think that is all the changes that we're wanting to make here today. Uh, thanks for watching.